In this video, let's create our very first Next.js application. To begin, let's set up our development environment. For Next.js, we'll need two things installed, Node.js and a text editor of your choice. For Node, visit node.js.org, download and install the latest stable release. If you already have it installed, make sure to update it. As for the text editor, I recommend using VS Code, which you can download from code.visualstudio.com. Now that we have our environment ready, let's proceed. I have created a folder called Next.js Course and opened VS Code inside the folder. This folder will serve as our workspace throughout the series. To create a new Next.js project, we just need to run a single line of code. Open the terminal, control backtick being the shortcut, and run the command npx create next app at latest. On installation, you'll see the following prompts. First, the name of the project. Let's call it hello hyphen world. The next six prompts, we accept the suggested default values. We would like to use TypeScript. We would like to use ESLint. We would like to use Tailwind CSS. We would like all our code to be placed within a source folder. We would like to use the app router, which is the new router available. And finally, we don't want to customize the default import alias. The command takes a few seconds to run. And once the command completes, you should have a new folder called hello world, which contains our Next.js application. To run the application, Navigate to the project folder using the command cd hello world and then run the command npm run dev. This command will set up a development server on localhost port 3000. You can control click or command click the provided link to quickly open the application in your browser. As you can see, our hello world application is now up and running. Here, you'll notice the instruction, get started by editing source slash app slash page.tsx. Let's return to VS Code, expand the source folder, app folder, and open page.tsx. Here, we can replace the Next.js logo image with the text, hello world, and save the file. You should now see hello world displayed in the browser. There you go, your first Next.js application is up and running. Now that we understand how to generate a new Next.js application using the create next app command, let's dive into the project's folder structure in the next video.